Hey guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Uh, we just finished up uh, a video on doing a, uh, my hides and fleshing and stuff. And you end up with a uh, leftover. This is the tallow from the hide. And we're going to render this down uh, just to make fat out of it and make an oil candle out of it. And uh, it's a pretty easy process. I'm going to show you how it's done. Uh, it's kind of the waste not, want not philosophy, you know, that uh, we're going to use every part of this deer uh, that we possibly can. You know, I don't believe in wasting stuff, uh, and we're going to use everything we can. You can actually uh, render this down too and fry in it. Uh, tastes just fine. Uh, works good for grease. Uh, but we're just going to render it down, and we'll show you how to use a, a, a piece of that mop string that we used in another video, and how to make a wick and just make a little candle with this tallow. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, uh, got a little charcoal fire going here just for uh, ease of uh, getting this video done quick and not uh, having to sit here playing with a fire all afternoon. But uh, I've got a little can here already going with a little tallow in it. And we're gonna render some of this other down and pour into this can. I'm gonna go ahead and move this off the fire set it to the side because I want to use this one to render my tallow in. This is another part of the recycling uh, I believe in, you know. Why go out and waste a pan on something when this is an old soup can. I uh, just turned into a uh, uh, little broiler here for my rendering my fat. And I'm going to just move my fire a little bit, poke it around a little bit so I can get a nice even flat surface for my can to set on. And then we're going to just take this uh, piece of bark that I have this tallow in, and I'm going to try to cut all the meat off of it that I can and drop it into this can. Uh, this piece of tallow was right around the tail section, and uh, I'm going to rinse this off a little bit in some water, and uh, then I'm just going to start cutting it up and putting it in this uh, thing and heating it on the, uh, the fire. So stay with me. Okay guys, we're just going to wash, rinse this off a little bit, just to get some of the dirt and stuff off of it. Try to clean it up a little bit. Then I'm just going to start cutting this into chunks. Uh, let's see. I guess I can do it right here. I'm just going to start cutting this down a little bit. Putting it in my can. These smaller pieces seem to render down quicker. You can see it's just pure tallow, just pure fat. Really good white, clean stuff. This is all pieces I scraped from the hide itself. Try to get any of these particulate pieces that are in here off. This will be a big, big piece here. Nice big piece of tallow. I'm going to kind of cut that down a little bit. It's got a little meat on it there. I don't want to put in there. I'm rendering fat, not, not frying meat. So let's just try to put this on the fire. Just I'm just going to directly set it right in the fireplace there. And just start letting it boil down. Now periodically, I'm just going to pour the fat off of this into this can. Better not grab that. Then we'll set this to the side and let it be heating up a little bit. We're going to take a piece of this cotton wicking and just kind of drop down in there and uh, make a wick with it. 
and I'll show you what it does when you actually set it on fire. It doesn't put out a lot of bright light, but a little bit of light's better than nothing. And uh, you know, you could actually heat a, a small uh, spider shelter with it. Uh, lots of multiple uses for this stuff. Uh, you can actually use tallow for uh, like a regular grease. Uh, as long as you didn't salt the hide or anything first, uh, it works really well on, you know, oiling tools, uh, a rust preventative. I've actually rubbed this on my boots before to make it kind of like a waterproofing agent. And it works okay. You can hear it sizzling away there a little bit. Should have plenty in there for what I'm, what I'm wanting today. All right, we'll skip ahead a little bit so you're not sitting here just bored to death watching this thing fry. And uh, I'll come back when this renders down a little bit and we'll pour it off. Okay, guys, some of this fat's starting to render down a little bit. So we're just going to take my multi-tool here. Just kind of grip it and I'm going to just pour this off a little bit. I'm going to take a stick to hold this, the big chunks in. I'm just going to start pouring it into my... Uh, what's going to be my candle. I'm just going to repeat that process several times until I've rendered down enough fat for making my candle. Give this a little stir occasionally. You got to be kind of careful when you're doing this too guys around fire because the stuff's flammable. Once you hear it sizzling like that, you can just start pouring off some more fat. And just keep rendering that fat down. I'm not really cooking this one as much. I want it just warm. I don't want it, uh, you know, uh, getting too fried in there. You hear it sizzling away down in there pretty good. Take my little stick, just kind of give it a little stir and poke it down in there some more. Kind of angle it back till you can see it. Like I say, I don't believe in wasting anything. You know, I try my best to uh, use everything I possibly can. I don't believe, and you know, uh, a lot of people will throw this stuff away. Uh, people have been using this for a long time, you know, as uh, grease to fry in, as uh, uh, waterproofing, as candles. I'm just going to keep repeating that process until I don't not get any more fat out of this. Okay guys, while well, this is uh, got about a half a can there going, it's getting close. Uh, I'm going to finish it off with what I got. And uh, right now we're going to talk a little bit about wicking. This is just a piece of that cotton mop string. And uh, you can leave it like it is and make one big wick. Or you can actually pull it apart, they're into four sections. And make smaller wicks. Today I'm just going to leave this hole. And we're going to make one big wick. i tell you what, this actually smells really good too, believe it or not. Now, uh, with my wick, what I usually do is I just tie a knot in the bottom of it. That just kind of holds it down a little bit. And we'll go ahead and start this wick in here. And I'm just going to start dropping my wick in. I want this toward the bottom. And I want to get the wick completely soaked in this grease. And then I'm just going to pull my wick up a little bit and move it to the side. 
and I want this to kind of go in the center. So as I pour, I'm going to keep moving this wick out a little bit, and the excess will cut off later. You can just take a stick and move it around. The tallow will actually uh, harden up, and especially as it cools off and gets really cold, uh, it'll uh, harden up pretty good. Uh, we'll try to get some more of this rendered out again, and I'll show you how this thing uh, works when it's uh, lit up. I probably won't fill this thing full because my daylight's running out, and uh, got other things to do. But let's get uh, let's get this on. All right, guys, got a pretty good can full of tallow here. See how I've got it, the wick and everything kind of set up. And uh, we're going to let this uh, kind of gel up a little bit. And I'm going to, then I'll take the stick off where the, that's holding the wick up. And uh, we'll watch it burn here this afternoon and see how it goes. Now you don't have to have that much tallow in a can. I mean, you can use a smaller container. Um, I've actually seen people take, you know, river cane, bamboo, stuff like that, and uh, make a mold and just kind of mold this stuff like a, a taper candle. Here's the candle from the side, burning in. You can kind of see how it's going. It does have like a black smoke, but that's just, uh, that's normal. Once the wick burns down a little bit and starts actually into the fat, it's gonna it's gonna die down a little bit. And the reason I left that other wick in there is if I want to. Uh, uh, need a little extra light or something, I can actually set that other wick on fire and uh, get some more light. Now I just kind of bend it over a little bit. Just kind of an emergency light, I guess. And once it catches up, just move it back off to the side. Now it pops and cracks a little bit, but that's just the tallow. Nothing to be concerned about. That's a pretty easy uh, little project to do, and it doesn't waste your tallow. You know, uh, uh, it's just uh, another way to use your deer. Well, guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. It's getting long in the day, and I'm uh, getting tired. So I uh, hope you guys have a great day, and I hope to see you in the woods. Thank you.